So today is going to be a bit of a, an instructional or how-to video. Uh, not fully detailed, but um, at least some. So we've, we've arrived at our first destination, and as we sort of somewhat suspected, um, internet connection is a bit of a problem. We're in a bit of a dip in a gully, and the signal isn't quite getting to us, so we're not able to do much online, which is really a problem. So we have gone ahead and invested in the WeBoost, the 4GX RV edition. So I've already done the unboxing, but I thought I'd show you the components. So this is the new omnidirectional external antenna mounted typically to the back ladder of your rig. Here we have the internal antenna, all the cabling required to connect both. Here's the actual booster itself to give you an idea on the scale. All the instructions and contact information. This uh, installation overview kind of gives you an idea of how, how and everything works. We have all kinds of tie wraps and clips to fasten the cabling to whatever surface you need to run it to. And your power supplies. Your 110, which is what we will use. Optional 12 volt that can be wired directly into your 12 volt system. So pretty cool. And uh, even a nice Corbett. Now I'm not going to be using that. So basically the the you know the concept is you mount the external antenna outside at one end of your rig. It it meaning the external antenna will plug into the booster. Then the booster plugs into the internal antenna, which should be at the other end of your rig, or at least have some distance in between. I don't know the exact number. I'd have to look it up. And as long as there is somewhat of a signal, wherever you are, the booster will pick it up and will magnify or amplify it. Now, in our case, for our specific installation on our rig, I'm going to mount this to an extendable pole at the back of the rig. And I've gone ahead and uh, borrowed <laughs> uh, some additional cable. So I'll run this coax cable down the back of the rig, across the bottom of the rig, and I'll go up into my water bay where the satellite connection is or auxiliary connection for uh, park cable whenever the, the campground is offering you cable. And then at the front, where the TV is, is where the other end of that connection will end up. So I'll have the internal antenna mounted on the front, basically just beside the television, which happens to be well within range of the internal antenna for where our office sits. So they do say that that internal antenna is good for up to 10 feet. So you have to be within 10 feet of that antenna in order for the system to function properly. So that's it. There's all the, uh, the, the, the packaging is really fantastic. And the instructions, um, open box one, step one through whatever. You know, it's very nicely done, very nicely packaged. So I will show you uh, throughout the course of the day how exactly I run my cabling in the setup. So here's the installation on the inside. So I've plugged into the auxiliary satellite internal port, I guess. So there's the cabling running from that connection to the, uh, the actual booster. And then from the booster to the internal antenna. So the internal antenna will stay on the counter up here since our office is right here and I will mount the booster inside this cavity so that it's tucked away nice and neat so that when the TV comes down it won't interfere with any of the cabling and fortunately I've got power over here now I did have to run a splitter so I've got the TV I've got the WeBoost and the Bose soundbar all three devices that need power Fortunately, the fireplace, which is here, has its own power supply, which I 
Can you see it there? Down there. It's on its own dedicated circuit. So there's the interior portion of the installation. So I fortunately didn't have to drill any holes through any walls to run this cabling. I was able to use the existing cabling that's in the rig in order to avoid that, which I'm very happy about. Okay, so here's the exterior view plugged into the auxiliary or satellite plug. I forget which one it is. Give myself a little spare cable inside through the water port. Down, mount it to the frame. Followed the propane line, which runs pretty much all the way to the back. So follow the propane line all the way to the back of the rig, which you can't really see from here. It was actually quite convenient to be able to strap onto the propane hose. It went from metal to rubber at one point. So then came out the side here, the bottom. Tied it all the way to the side, mounted my pole to the ladder, had some extra cable at the top spooled up, just in case, not too much, and there's the antenna. So with that, as you saw, we were able to double our speed. Okay, so the device is on, it's plugged in, there's the WeBoost, full green light, on my router, all green lights, which weren't always green before, um, so that's great. Run a few speed tests. Here are the numbers before installing the WeBoost. So highest number was 5.02 download, lowest number 3.74. I'm not too concerned about upload speeds right now. And here are the numbers after highest 10.81, lowest 9.1. So I've basically doubled or over doubled the download speeds with the WeBoost plugged in. So that's pretty awesome. And we've just done a test. Obviously internet is good. Um, I haven't done any YouTube streaming yet, um, but I did just do a Zoom meeting and the video was perfect. The audio was perfect. Everything was good. So it looks like I can say that this is probably success. Let's watch an Ellen video real quick. I don't know why that's coming in in French for some reason. Although, je parle français. All right. Yep, yep, yep. So buffing well in advance. This is beautiful. We have good enough, not the greatest, but we have good enough internet. Let me turn that off. So we have good enough internet to do whatever we need to do for work, which is awesome.